Hello everyone, thank you for joining today. This video will cover the step-by-step -step instructions on how to add and edit batch fields within CD Default. We made the operation very simple for users with the correct permissions, and I'll walk you through those steps today. First, let's go ahead and take a look at an input file we might want to bring into our CDD vault. This particular input file is a CSV file. We also can read in SDF files that would certainly bring in the structure and any associated data. Here in the CSV file, you see that this is only a, a very simple file that contains four different uh, data types or columns of information that we want to bring in. First one is the chemistry object, smiles, in column A followed by a sample ID, the person who performed the study, the vendor who provided the, the sample to us, as well as the date. Taking a look at the CDD vault, we can navigate to the batch settings by starting with settings, clicking on vault, and then batch fields. Here is a series of different batch fields that are part of our particular vault today. Note also that many of these are already pre-generated by the system, but certainly you can edit and add several batch fields as you need for your different research. In this particular vault, we have already added a new batch field called My Sample ID. It's a text type data field, and it does have to be unique, which I'll describe in a second, but this field is actually optional. If I click Add or Edit Batch Fields, you'll see that we get to a wizard that allows you to simply click Add a Batch Field, give this new field a name. I'll just, for this example, I'll just type in Sample ID. You have a pull-down option to decide which type of data is going to be associated with this new batch field. Text is the one that I would use for this particular option, but you can see there are several other choices too, including number, date, an actual pick list where the user would select a choice that you have predefined, as well as a file, such as an image file that you may want to associate with this particular uh, record. Now, getting back to what I mentioned before, there is a checkbox here for must be unique. Again, this note at the bottom of the page is very important because it is a uniqueness compared to across all batch fields within the entire vault, not necessarily just project by project. So bear that in mind as you're creating new batch fields. To complete the operation of adding a new batch field, simply click the green Update Batch Fields button, and that new field will be available to any, uh, any user within the vault. For my input file, though, I'm going to go ahead and use this My Sample ID that was already created. Thank you for watching this video.